Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorena Gary, and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. So make sure to hit that follow button so you guys get notified every time I post a new video. Alright you guys, so first off I went ahead and removed the top coat off this set. She was one of my clients that you guys had seen in one of my prior videos. But it was time for her fill. She went about two weeks. No stones were missing or nothing. Um, for my prep, what I like to do is push the cuticles back and kind of just get them out of the way just because you, I have some clients that their, nail, their cuticles really stick to their nail beds. So you really don't want to miss that step and it actually helps make sure that you're getting a little bit underneath the cuticle and using this a bit as well. If you guys watch my older or one of my other videos where it was a shopping with me video, it has a little pink bag on the thumbnail. That one, um, you were able to see where I had purchased this bit if that's something you're interested in. If I can, I'll go ahead and link something similar down below just because I love that bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my medium sanding band and this is for Metacore or Metacore and I'm just going to go ahead and lightly buff the surface of the nail and removing that shine so the nails can adhere correctly. The reason why I love the cuticle bit that I was using is because it literally takes off everything. I don't know why, but it is so satisfying to me, especially I have some clients that it's actually really hard to remove their cuticle and really get in there because the way their nail beds are, they're like, the way their nail beds are, it just makes it harder to get into the cuticle area. And especially if their sidewalls dig into the sides of their nails. So um, with that bit, honestly, you guys, I love that. Now I'm just getting this bit right here, that metal one. I was just removing just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of nail that was lifted. I wasn't hitting it with the natural nail at all. If you take that one to the natural nail, you will end up getting a whole bunch of dents in the nail and you really don't want that. And then I went ahead and dehydrated. I did two coats of that and now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Young Nails protein bond and I'm going to go ahead and do two coats of this. And if I felt like I missed anywhere, I went ahead and went back and did that. And then now I'm just going to get this brush. This brush is from Montage Nail Supply. This is their new brush that they came out with. I believe it's around $30 for this brush. Um, I might be wrong, but definitely check it out. I feel like this size is perfect and the fact that it comes pinched, I love that um, because a lot of brushes that I have bought in the past, a lot of them, they don't come pinched. So I'm glad that this one, it already came pinched and I don't have to worry about that. But it is a 100% Kalinsky Heart brush. So if you're a beginner at nail tech, honestly, I definitely recommend going in with this brush. This brush is a size 12 and that's usually the size or when I had first started doing nails I started out with a really small brush and then I worked my way up to a 12 and honestly you guys I feel like doing the 12 even now I really like to go back to it so I feel like this is great especially if you are doing fills because you guys could see that there was hardly any that needed to even be filled so with this, it picks up the perfect amount of product and you're not wasting a ton of liquid as well. When you're doing the fill, you want to make sure that you are actually pointing the finger downward. You're not going to want to have it back. Um, just because you don't want it to, the acrylic to flood the cuticle because once you do that, it's a lot harder to clean up. So, and especially if you're a beginner nail tech, it is kind of scary going in with a drill or even going in with a file around the cuticle because it is a very thin skin and you don't want to cut your clients just because, I don't know, it's just an uncomfortable feeling, especially just doing anything, it will end up burning them. So definitely try and point the finger downward it will help you guys so much
right and now I'm just adding another bead to get my apex higher again just because I do feel like sometimes when it grows out the apex it kind of moves downward and you just end up having to replace where it needs to be and then I'm just going to go ahead and shape. These files I did end up getting from Montage. Unfortunately, they are not on their online store. But I think maybe if you were to ask them if they were able to put them on the, on the site, I am sure they will be able to do so. But you guys, if you guys are local to them, make sure you guys go in store because they have a ton of stuff. Especially if you love nail art. I feel like, honestly, they still have their colored acrylics. They have their glitters in a ton a ton a ton a ton of nail art stuff you guys could find pretty much everything and anything you need as far as nail art there they really do a good job at keeping it stocked with a ton of nail art and then i wanted to do the sides first and then i wanted to go ahead and file them shape them and then go across the body of the nail and when you are doing this, making sure that you are blending the apex down to the edge of the nail. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with that same medium sanding band and then I am just going to blend the cuticle down into the body of the nail, making sure the bottoms of the nails are nice and straight. Just because sometimes with clients with their nails, they after their nails grow out a little bit, you might notice that your client's nails kind of angle down a little bit. Um, and with that being said, it just helps like straighten them out. So basically what I'll do is actually build on the top of the nail and then I will go under the bottom of the nail and then I will end up taking all that excess product off. And then once you go back to the top, honestly, you guys, it is perfect. If you guys want a video on that, on um, clients who have downward facing nails, um, downward pointing nails, I mean. <laughs> but if you guys want a video on that, definitely let me know because I felt like at the beginning I would just recommend clients to get a new set because I did not know how to fix that but over the years figuring out different ways to do with it and kind of mess around messing around with it a little bit I am able to rebalance their nails without them having to get a full set every time because some people when they come back they'll go three weeks with their nails and by that time they are their nails are completely pointing down it's a really easy fix you guys so yeah, that it's honestly I wish I would have learned that a long time ago because it would save me from removing a ton of nails just because especially when they're only like they have only gotten one fill on it or they went three weeks with it and their nails are pointing down. I would always recommend them to get a new set at that point. But after once I realized how I was able to fix it and it was actually so easy. This had actually made my life a lot easier and theirs as well because they didn't have to pay for a removal. Alright guys, now I'm going in with my cute little buffer. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and buff all the nails. And sometimes, this is a little thing that I have actually learned because I feel like even with my clients when they go and scrub their nails, after they get their, like when they go wash their hands and scrub them with a the scrub brush, I feel like they never get everything off like by the cuticle. So if you guys noticed at the beginning of the clip, I actually kind of rubbed it a little tiny bit on the tops of their cuticle just so it could lightly like take that off. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you who is my inspo for today. So I ended up coming across a set on Tracy's Nails. You guys, her set 
is the bomb. So I was like, you know what? I really want to um, recreate this set. And I had posted on my story. And I was like, somebody please get these. And my client, she was like, I want them. So I was like, you know what? Yes. I was like, I feel like this will go really, really good with you. So, of course, we had to do it on her. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys had seen this. And I had gotten a ton of people who had actually messaged me about it. Even clients that were new to me. they I When I had posted that, they're like, I want that, I want that, I want that. So, it did actually end up bringing me people who d weren't even a client of mine already. So, I felt like that was pretty cool. So, I mean, if it's a trick that maybe you guys could use to build your clientele um who knows maybe that's something that might work for you or you guys and then i went ahead and got these oranges from tracy's nails and on the picture she does actually have the colors on there the ones that she had used and let me double check the ones that she had used because um i think i got one of them the same exact one but i think the other one i ended up actually doing a different color but these are a part of her line. So if you guys know Tracy's Nails, her polish used to be just Tracy's Nails. But now she changed her brand to Colorland Gels. And yeah, so, but this picture is on her Tracy's Nails page. But the color that she ended up using is 79 and 82. And then she ended up using the black from the collection as well. I ended up going in with the darker orange on those first three nails. And then I ended up going in with the lighter one on these two center nails. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is wipe the sides of the nails. Basically what this does is it helps maintain the shape of the nails instead of it ending up rounding out the nails. What this will do is help keep it shape and making sure that your edges are still nice and crisp. Because a lot of times when applying gel you might feel like you end up losing a lot of your shape. And I know that's why a lot of people, they like to stick with colored acrylics. But this is great for clients like this who they really don't want to end up having to change the colored acrylic every single time. And maybe want to get colored acrylic one of those times and then switch it up the next. So honestly, I definitely recommend having colored gels and acrylics to your collection because it allows you to do both. I know some texts, they kind of more gravitate towards one than the other and that's completely fine this is just my methods and what works for me and my clients just because i know my clients a lot of them they don't like to take off their set and do a removal every single time and with me honestly with my hands my hands they can't take doing um a color uh acrylic color removal so that is kind of why I don't really offer them too, too much, just because my hands will be, end up killing me. When I was at the beginning of my nail career, I was able to do them where I would just draw off the old acrylic. But honestly, with my hands, I don't know what it was, but over the years of doing nails, my hands, they hurt me. And if I end up doing a fill like that where I completely remove their old acrylic, my hands will be like no good the rest of the week so that is the only reason why I don't typically offer it unless it's like a very similar colored to the colored before it just really depends on the colors if it's something super super pigmented um that they had before I would not recommend doing even a set on that but that is just my take on it I know everyone is different but honestly I can't afford to be out the whole week and be in pain that much because Especially when I am having a full schedule, it's so hard for me to be able to like move around clients and it will take me a lot longer even if I try to work myself through that. 
So next, I am just going to go ahead and get this brush. This is actually a 3D nail art brush, but I sometimes use it for things like this. And so I'm just making petals with it. And honestly, doing petals with this brush is so much easier, less time consuming. And so, of course, that is why I pulled it out. And I ended up just getting that darker gel, the orange gel that I ended up using on the pinky pointer and thumbnail I got that same orange and I'm just applying it over this lighter one just so it kind of just gets a little little bit tiny 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 bit of that color and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and outline it I found that it was easier to do the petals first rather than doing the centerpiece first um, so basically what I would recommend doing is painting the petals and then just going back in and making those wispy little lines. And I am not going to be doing this picture exactly, exactly like um, the one on Tracy's nails. I am going to be switching it up. I just feel like I just really wanted the concept of it. So my lines and stuff, there might not be in the exact same spot as hers. Alright you guys, now I'm just kind of debating whether or not where I should add my little lines. I know I wanted to do some of those swoops and I wanted to do the lines inside of it. So right here, this is not going to be another flower petal. This is just going to be the lines that end up going in the center of there. And yeah, you guys could pretty much freestyle with this. You don't have to ever do it exactly, exactly like the picture just because I feel like sometimes... Trying to mimic things in the exact same place actually is a lot harder than just recreating the concept of it. So I know in a older video I ended up doing um, a thing of, um, it was a nail set from Helen White, I think it's Y-E-G, Helen Y-E-G. Um, she is an amazing nail artist and I ended up doing a mushroom nail that was inspired by her set you guys could view that on my youtube channel if that's something that you're interested in but yeah you guys trying to replicate it in the same exact spot and stuff was actually really really hard and a lot more time consuming than if you were to just grab the concept and go so sometimes i know it's like your clients they want the exact exact thing but i feel like sometimes having more fun with it i don't know like i feel like i enjoy this more being able to like look at the picture and get inspo from it but not do the exact exact same thing kind of just mess around with it see what I like see different things that I could do or what I feel like makes it pop you know even though I do feel like our sets are very very similar but and then now I'm just going to go ahead back and point the petals just because I feel like it looked better when the petals were pointed This liner brush that I am using, it is an OP eye brush. I did end up getting it at a local nail supply store. It's called Paris Nails Town. You guys could find them on Instagram. Um, it, their logo is like a little Paris Tower. Or the Eiffel Tower, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so they have them. And I don't know if they have a website. I know I go in store a lot to go and check out their stuff. Um, but yeah. And this brush, at first, honestly, I didn't think that I really liked it that much. But I think with anything, it takes a little time to get used to it.
All right, you guys, and that is what the next one looked like. I did want to show you guys I did the lines in the opposite direction, but my hand actually ended up covering that whole clip. So I didn't want to insert it for you guys just because I felt like it would have just been a waste of time seeing the back of my hand. But honestly, you guys, I think doing more petals in this one, I do feel like I really like the way that looked. I wish I would have done more petals in the other one as well. Hmm. But yeah, you guys, um, doing this set was really, really fun. If you guys are interested in doing nail art, I feel like honestly, you should just give it a try. With me, I love doing gels when I am doing nail art. Before, I would use like acrylic paint or I would use regular nail polish, but honestly, you guys, especially if you guys are a beginner nail tech, try out using gels because you guys could cure it in layers. And let's say you do the first layer and you absolutely love the way it came out, cure it and then after go over it again with your nail art, like nail art that you need to do on top of it. And if you don't like it, you could always wipe it away. And that's like the greatest thing about gel paint is that you could just wipe it away you don't need to let it dry and do a whole removal process so honestly you guys definitely invest your money into gels i feel like honestly i completely wasted my money on getting regular polish just because of the fact that i don't even really work with regular polish at all i don't even add it or i don't even offer it to my clients because of the fact that i just it what like i just ended up not being a fan of it you know so honestly you guys definitely 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 get some good nail art i know helen nails um one of my videos where i had did that mushroom nail art somebody had commented in the comments and had said that she had purchased her brushes and the nail art stuff or her nail art paints and she said that she actually really really enjoys them so I definitely recommend investing into a really good brand of products just because I promise you guys, if you guys are investing in good products, it will actually make your life so much easier when doing nails. For you guys and now I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds I feel like honestly when doing any art especially if you're using black you really want to cure it to the max that it says because if you don't um, in my experience with any gels I feel like any of the ones that I have used I do feel like the black ends up smearing a little bit especially if you go over it with a mat um, and that's what we are going to be doing. I don't want any smearing action happening. So of course, I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for that 60 seconds. The light that I am using is Kiara Sky. And honestly, you guys, I do wanna do an updated review on this lamp and let you know what I think about it, um, just because I have been using it for a little while now. Honestly, you guys, in this set, I think the petals were by far my favorite thing about creating this. And, of course, the matte in the orange. Um, but I don't know what it was. But the way she designed the leaves in this set, I felt like it was so genius. Like, I don't know why, but I just love the way it looks. It kind of gives more of, like, 
a tattooed look, I guess. Like, I don't know if you guys see people's tattoos and whatnot, but that is what it reminds me of. All right, you guys, and that is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and add some finishing details and see where I feel like it needs more pigment and a little bit more art in certain spots. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure that for another 60 seconds. All right, you guys, now that that is done curing, I'm going to go ahead and get my matte top coat. You guys already know this is by far my favorite matte top coat. This is Koopa matte top coat. If you guys do want a video on me comparing top coats, because there are other really, really good ones that people have recommended to me and I have tried out in the past, so make sure to go on my YouTube channel and check them out because I have two matte top coat videos one I have did like three years ago and then another is just as of recently that I have did. So definitely make sure to check those out to see the top coat that best works for you. Because again, if this top coat works for me, it might not work for you and vice versa. So yeah. And then another thing is when after you guys are done with this matte top coat, make sure you are going in and taking that excess gel off of the edges of the nail. So slide your finger across the edges to make sure your shape still stays nice and crisp. All right, you guys, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the light for another 60 seconds. All right, you guys, in just a second, you'll see the finished look. You guys, please let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, and yeah. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. It does really help the YouTube algorithm and it does help get my video out there more and help more people that are like you and wanting to learn how to do nails and nail art. So yeah. Alright you guys, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye!